Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant Software here. I'm in Photoshop and I'd like to show you a quick tip in using photo looks in conjunction with the history brush to preserve detail in delicate areas of a photo. So let's say we've got a photo like this and we'd like to do some stylized color treatment on it. So let's go to Magic Bullet Photo Looks. And we've got a lot of presets here. Uh, I believe the one I am using is called, let's find it, Dream Look Sharp. So if let's say we've got that one or we can go into Dream Look, but I'll use Dream Look Sharp. It gives a nice warm cast to it, a little bit of um, diffusion on it and uh, just some nice color treatment. But one of the things that happens is that because we've got some very subtle areas in the veil and in the lace, of the bride, we kind of lose those details. So we could go through and tweak the color treatments and tweak the curves and all that, but we can actually just paint back in the detail that we want using the history brush. So let's just say, okay. And just for a comparison, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. I'm just going to drag this layer down, create a new layer uh, so we can reference uh, the original sort of um, unfixed version. So let's turn that off and I'll go back to this layer here. Let's select the uh, history brush. In fact, let me reset it here. So go down here, and it looks like this. We don't want the art history brush. We just want the regular history brush tool. What the history brush tool does is allow us to paint back in a previous state of the photograph. So if we have our uh, history window open here, we can see all the previous states that uh, we have as we do various things. So if I do something like a uh, healing brush treatment, um, then we'll see uh, that new state come in. Whoops, it looks like we uh, so, so paint out a, a couple things here. So we can jump back through various states um, and look at you know what we've done along the way, but we can also select an area in this history palette to paint back in. So if I leave this history brush icon on the original, when I go into my history brush, this will paint back in that original state. So let me select that visible layer and I can go in here and then paint back in the original photo of the veil. Now, one problem uh, you might be noticing, in fact, let me bump this opacity up to 100 and size up the brush a little bit. It is painting back in the detail, but it's painting it back without the color treatment. And this doesn't do a whole lot of good. But here's where it's really cool to use the history brush versus uh, you know, duplicating and using masks and managing two different layers to have uh, detail layers and, and uh, color corrected layers. I can go in to this history brush and select a different mode for it. I'm gonna select luminosity. So effectively what I'm painting back in, it's gonna take that image that I'm painting back in and blend it with this layer using the blending mode that I've selected. So I can paint back in the original layer only using the luminance of that original layer, which is what we want to do. We want to preserve this yellow uh, tint, but we want some of that original luminance detail. So I can go through and just kind of paint in, nudge that down a little bit, paint in some of the detail of that veil, because I'm sure it was an expensive veil. Oops, I bumped the shoulder a little bit there. Uh, let's go in, we've got some lace here that we've lost some detail on. So let's not forget one of the most important parts, which would be the ring right here. So we gotta be able to see the ring because that's also probably you know, a little bit expensive. So I'm going there here, maybe a little bit back in the veil and uh, looks like we're all good. I think that Art History Brush is probably a very overlooked tool um, just because it's one of those things where you wonder, why would I ever want to do that? I think this tool keeps things simple. Like I said, we don't have to create two different layers and mask things out and blend them back in together. Uh, we have everything that we need right within the one tool. So if I turn this color corrected layer on and off, we can see that our new and improved version has a lot more detail. So you can see more about photo looks at redgiantsoftware.com. My name's Harry Frank. Thanks so much for watching.